Yeah, you could cones that are cut off. All right, so here we got our function. We want to figure out the volume from 1 to 5 of pi. Our function is x minus 1. Whoops. x minus 1, and it's going to get all squared. Isn't that handy? So think about the square root of x minus 1. If you were to graph that, you're going to take your square root graph, and shift it one to the right. So your square root graph shifted one to the right. Looks like that from grade 12 pre-calculus. And we know that it starts here at 0 at 1 comma 0. And we want to find it from 1 to 5. If you plug in 5, you get 5 comma 2. So we're going to rotate this, I'm going to try better. Ooh, that's not bad. And this would be like this. Again, get some color in here. Color my end circle in one color. And another color for this. What does that look like? McDonald's, McDonald's fries? <laughs> <laughs> These parts? <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. And the volume of McDonald's fries. <laughs> yeah, next time you're in line, you can s when you order it, you can say, I know the volume of that. And then a person will look at you like, yeah. So, when you square square root, oh, how nice is that? It goes away. And now we can find that definite integral. Each of these are easy integrals to do. x squared over 2 minus x. one minus the other one. Set up my brackets first. So if I plug in 5, I'm going to get 25 over 2 minus 5 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. Now you could, inside those brackets, put things together. But I notice that I've got some fractions that already have the common denominator and some other ones that don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together, just because I think it's a little bit faster, 25 over 2 minus 1 over 2 would give me 24 over 2. And minus 5 minus a negative 1 will give me negative 4. And this will just now, it actually saves me some fraction time because 24 over 2 is just 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 pi. So your answer in the end, your volume is you have 8 pi fry. That would be the proper units, right? <laughs> fry cubed. 8 pi fry cubed. There we go. It's already a volume, so you don't need the cubed. <laughs> yeah, with a factorial at the end. <laughs> okay. 